Hello, welcome back. Uh, this next video I'm going to show you how to format output and how to write it to a file. Um, I'm starting from the program that I wrote in the last video. Um, now you might want to go back and watch that if you didn't, just so you know where we are, but it's not, it might not be necessary. Okay. On the last video I wrote this fretboard calculator and it printed it to the screen for us on the console and it didn't round as much as we would have liked it to so I'm gonna make it do those two things today now, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, give Fortran a type of format and uh, what this means is uh, this 100 here is just a number that I'm giving to the format. Uh, it doesn't have to be 100. Uh, that's just the label that I'm giving it. Uh, the stuff inside the parentheses here uh, has to do with how I want stuff to be formatted. The i3 means an integer that's going to be occupying a space uh, three blocks wide. And this is going to be for the fret numbers, so I mean, really, it only needs to be two because you know the number of frets is only going up to 24. I just made it three. It doesn't really matter. That's 5x here means five spaces, and uh, this next bit is it says f for floating point, and then 5.2. The five is how wide of a space the number is going to fit in, and the two is how many decimal places it's going to be rounded to. And I put five because you know our biggest numbers are going to be like 22.59 you know, or something and that's going to be five spaces wide and rounded to two decimal places so this uh, this first number here just has to be wide enough to uh, represent the number the whole number basically anyway the next thing I'm going to do is uh, open a file or I'm actually creating a file uh, with the open command and this unit number here is just going to be a number that I'm going to use to reference the file later on and I'm calling it one and I'm giving it the, um, and the file that I'm referencing is frets.dat um, this unit equals and this file equals I don't I don't think need to be there but I'm putting them in there because it uh, makes everything a lot clearer. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is rather than print to the screen here, I'm going to write uh, to this file unit number one. And I'm going to do that with the write function. I'm going to write to unit one using format 100 which uh, I defined up here. Okay, so when Fortran gets here, it should, uh, it's gonna write to, it's gonna look for unit file number one to write to, it's gonna see that we opened it right here, and it's gonna use format number 100, uh, which we defined here, and it's gonna plug these two terms in. All right, and the last thing I wanna do is close the file once I don't need it anymore. This probably isn't necessary at this point, but it's it's good practice. And again, this you know this unit equals one here and this format equals hundred. This could be written as just one comma one hundred. But I just put these in here so it would be a little more explicit. So I'm gonna go ahead and compile this. it. Okay. Uh, now that I've run it, you can see that it created this file here, frets.dat. And if I open that, it should it should have the numbers in that we want. And it does. So this first column here is the fret number and the second column is the distance from 
uh, distance from the bridge on whatever instrument we're measuring. Okay, and remember I set in the format specifier uh, I set I set I3 instead of I2 and what that did was let me get back to my terminal here uh, it put a space before the numbers it, it put this this integer in a block again three spaces wide and it it's called right justified it put it on as far right as it could in those three spaces and then I had five blank spaces one two three four five All right and then the next form uh, the next specifier for the format was this floating point here and I said 5.2 and it counts the decimal place for one of the uh, one of the spaces so this is one two three four five wide and rounded to two decimal places so that is how you format uh, an output and that's how you write to a file so I hope you learned something and I'll catch you next time. Take care.